Alrighty fam, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping I'm back now. So um, I've been sick for about two weeks almost. Um, so I started feeling sick about last Friday and it's now Wednesday night and I'm still got a bit of a cough. So one, I do apologize for the hiatus and two, I do apologize if I cough a little bit during this video. I'm gonna try and edit it out, cut it and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, let's jump into it and I'll talk you guys through my life update as we go. But anyway, it's been ages since I've done a video, so I missed out a whole bunch of content, so I do apologize. I did realize I didn't do a, a, a guide on how to beat this boss. I'm hoping most of you have done it already by now. We've got the new event, Tower of Trials. The Hawk Treasure Chest is out as well. Um, so look, if you saw me do a guide, drop a comment down below, but I'm hoping most of you have kind of done it by now. Um, today, we're going to be following up pretty much what we were doing last time we did a showcase on Albedo. And this time we're gonna do Sheltier because she's my other uh, collab unit that I've got and I've leveled her up. Uh, and then probably the next couple of videos I might do something around the, uh, the the Chaos PvP, which is out as well, which looks which is a lot of fun. And I'll show a few of the teams I've been playing with. Um, nothing kind of groundbreaking, but I'll show you that anyway. So yeah, we're gonna be jumping into some Sheltier gameplay and I'll kind of talk you guys through how I've been doing. So we'll start off with the same team we're running for Albedo, except I'm gonna try and make it all about Sheltier. So I'll probably still taunt stuff with Albedo, but then I'll probably swap this in and out with, um, you know what, you know, stuff it. Let's start with tier. So I'm thinking we'll just go full max DPS. So we're gonna hell for the evade food and then tier and then Sheltier. So the idea is I wanna get them to attack me, right, ideally. So this might actually even be a better team because I need to be attacked into like Purgatory Melee's kind of uh, uh, stacks of darkness or stacks of purgatory sorry um, we want to get to a point where we're enraged and we have that really high attack stat boost so I do have attack alt rush really okay um, time your link of course so I guess that's a level 60 what's the bet they've got dodge food oh, I hate this man I hate <laughs> Um, let's just do, I guess we'll just do as much damage as we can into, okay, no dodge food, so we're okay. Uh, it's actually good that I don't have a taunt, it's no damage, uh, because the fragile will just attack into me and completely screw me. So that's, um, Sheltier without her damage increase, right? She's kind of pretty useless until she gets, uh, her damage increase for her enrage. So we're going to be hoping that we get attacked a few times. To be honest, they're probably just going to put up a counter, right? I don't really have anything to stop me ult rushing though. Okay, I might just ult rush tier. Tier or hell? I think I'll go tier. Oh, I kind of know. I need to merge cards though. That's the problem, right? So if I do, and she has. I hate ult rush, fam. I hate ult rush. Um, she's going to counter me pretty hard, so I'm just going to do that one. Oh, sorry, fam. I'm hoping I can edit that little cough out, because um, that was rough. Um, that came out of nowhere. But, um, yeah, so I mean, she's just going to kill my tier now, right? I hate alt rush teams. Like, it's smart, with everything being so AoE-like, right? Because um, they just basically don't. Another counter card. Surely you kill tier, right? That's very interesting. Uh, okay. Okay, now you kill tier. Right. Okay. She obviously expected that to kill shell tier. Um, I think I'm screwed here, to be honest, because I'm not built for taking this on. And I have no... Uh, this will kill everyone. Um... Oy vey. I'm going to get an increase of 40% damage. This team sucks. I hate fighting this team. What is this? This is the worst. And they keep getting the buff and they keep getting a counter. So I think I'm just dead here. Off cooldown. Because... Well, this is a really boring first match. But anyway, so... As you guys... If you guys have been keeping up, I've been sick just permanently. To the point where I haven't even been able to, like... Get from me up from the couch. And I uh, went to work today and trying to uh, trying to work. Oh God. Trying to like work and talk and then come home and do this is oh man. Tiring AF. 
Uh, all right, we're just gonna do that. And then they're all gonna die anyway, so let's just do that. I think we lose though. Um, yeah, it's just been tiring, and now I'm coughing and stuff still. So I'm hoping I'm almost better. Uh, but we'll see. I should have gone after. Oh, I can't. She's got a taunt again. This is the most boring match I've ever seen in my life. I'm just leaving. This is not fun at all. Um, like, she gets like seven counters. It's just not even slightly worth it. So yeah, it was sick and then went away. The weekend, still a bit sick and it rained three out of four days we were there. It was supposed to be like a chill. I was supposed to be like a chill beach holiday and uh, final day I got a little bit burnt. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm not even talking about the gameplay. I'm just keeping up to date on my life story. So that's, that's where we're at. Um, it was really good. Like I kind of spend a lot less screen time because I do a lot of screens for work and I do a lot of screens for this and it's actually been really nice to break that a little bit so do this and then go spend some time uh, outside so if you uh, haven't spent some time outside recently this is your this is your call to action to go outside I know it's very counterproductive because I have a YouTube channel and I want you guys to watch but I also want you guys to go outside and have some fun and get some break from some screens or go doing some reading or go get some exercise because it does uh, it does make you feel really good so that's my tip of the tip of the day for everyone um anyway let's go back to this so what i think i'm going to do here is i'm going to do this to get rid of the evasion food that was quite a big damage that hurt quite a lot this is also going to hurt a lot isn't it i'm having fun this has been fun um i did a lot more damage than i expected it to I'm not sure why um but that was a big hit from hell as well do I, no I'm, I do have gear on, I'm 295 with dodge, so anyway, the idea of a twine this showcase, I was supposed to be showcasing Shout here, and I think it's proven that it's probably not the team, did I just get the same team again? I think I did, I can see the gauntlets, yeah I just got the same team again, so if we, yeah I think we're about to just die instantly again, so I might just uh, cut this one, we'll see how we go, let's see. If we're about to get one shot again. It's our dodge food. And hell. Again, there's so much damage. And then I think he's going to AoE again. And then I think everyone dies. Yep, that was fun. Okay, I'm going to wait for such, such. So anyway, <laughs> this is going to really good. This is going really well so far. So I think this is even just proven just in this, that Albedo is the better pick, right, um, than Sheltier. Sheltier is a lot of fun and I really enjoy her. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to cut that match out, we'll see. Um, <coughs> and um, the whole thing is the Infect. I really like the Infect. That's something I don't have in an unknown unit, which is obviously in like Rimuru and, you know, Echidna and stuff like that. And then this is obviously once she gets her Enrage piece. So she wants to be three of this effect at the start of her last turn, they're removed and the hero gains a Berserk effect. So... Whenever we deal damage or if we take damage, we increase the hero's related stats by 7%, uh, HP related stats. Once we get to 3 at the start of next turn, we'll get um, the Enrage piece, which is what we want, which is why she, where she actually does damage. Um, so, again, I thought this team would be pretty effective, but so far it's been absolute garbage, or I've just been getting... Like, I'd like to get a non-Insta-Wipe team or a non alt rush team, or... It's not the same team, right? No, we're getting massively out CC'd here though. We're getting pumped, which is uh, a bit rude, but we'll see how this goes. So this is the thing with all these like albedo taunts and like tier stuff being able to one shot straight off the bat. It's not necessarily what you want, right? So now I don't really know what to do <laughs> because they have albedo. So, I mean, maybe I'll just... Maybe let's just push Sheltier off. I don't know, but now I think she's about to insta die, right? Yeah, like that was instantly a third of my health. Oh, and I lost all my. Of course I did. So, uh, she's fun, but like. Hopefully, you guys can see I still am actually sick, I promise. She, she can't, like, you can't beat this team, really, right? Because. There's no, and he's taunting me, right? So like, there's no real beating this team if you haven't. 
Like, Sheltia just takes too long. She's very much like Ainz in the sense that she takes way too long to, like, kind of ramp up and get to where she needs to be. So what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to swap out Tia and I'll put Albedo back. Um, I didn't really want to do this, but I think Albedo is literally just going to steal the show here, which is really not what I wanted. Um, and I can use uh, Sheltia as a DPS, but, like, if you're using her as a DPS, you might as well just use Tia, right? Like, the that team before wasn't really cutting the mustard. So now it's basically the same team, except they have a t tier. I keep getting out CC. That's fine. I have dodge food. So in theory, that's supposed to be the case, right? But I think what I'll do here is I'll taunt. I'll AOE to get dodge food and then I'll infect them. And then they have that bleed. And then hopefully we um, get to a point where we can actually see what she can do. But this has been a pretty invisible showcase. We're 10 minutes in and we haven't done anything with her. So we'll, uh, we'll see. Alright, so we're gonna taunt, AoE, infect. Let's see this go. I think the meta is in a really interesting state at the moment, right? Because you can kind of use a few different teams. Um, I definitely think the unknowns with Albedo is definitely absolutely clutch at the moment. So that is very interesting to see. Alright, now we'll have Enrage next turn, which is nice. My Albedo's not doing so well. So my Albedo's HP crit, def uh, crit defense. Um, okay. So here, now I'm enraged, right? Which is awesome. So what do my stats actually look like now? So I've got 163% pierce, 300 crit percent, uh, 300 crit percent crit damage. I have 51k attack, which is huge. Versus everyone else, like, much lower, right? So I think I'm going to do that. I think we'll kill, and then I'll do that, and then I'll do that. I'm pretty good at push her ultimate, to be honest, but actually no, I would have lost it anyway. So there goes Tia. Bugger all damage because I have ta uh, the thingy, and this should yeah, melt 500k. Okay, this is this is actually the proper showcase now. We're actually into it, which is great. So, let's think, if she can stay alive, she actually does decent levels of damage, right? Problem is you almost kind of want to run Tia and Albedo just so they stay the hell off her. Because um, she's very squishy, especially with attack crit. But, <coughs> like, there they go. She's, she's dead now. All right, she's done her job and she's taken out two of the team. But it's kind of like, is it worth it over having Tia? Tia will do more damage, takes less time. Like, it's kind of a whole thing, right? So... Uh, let's do that. So, you know. Done. So, like I said, she did her job, finally. <laughs> but is she the right pick? She just, like, I really like her. I, I really do like her, but I'm just, I'm trying to find the right team with her. And again, I haven't been playing much recently, so I do apologize, guys. If you guys have a team for her, then let me know down in the comments. But I just... There we go. Done. So, again, like, yeah, Albedo with a constant counter takes the pressure off. And like that was, I wouldn't say necessarily a, an albedo showcase, but anyway, we'll do a couple more. Let me go get some more five festival tickets and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. We're going to do a three more. We'll do maybe one more with albedo because again, this is not supposed to be an albedo showcase, but she really takes the pressure off Sheltia so Sheltia can actually do what she's supposed to be doing. Um, once she gets in rage, as you guys saw, like 56k attack, the AoE did a lot of damage. Um, the single target did like, what, 500k? Um, type disadvantage into a counter with, um, what do you call it? Uh, Nanashi buff, I'm pretty sure, on a level one. So she pops off, but she just takes a while. Same thing with this dude. This is the problem with this dude. So I'm curious to see how this goes. I'm hoping he AoEs with tier first, but he doesn't. So that's a little bit annoying. This is where having tier is just better, right? Because you get AoE to do more damage the lower you are. So it's just, it just, it's better. Um, so what we're going to do here, so we're just going to do the same process, to be honest. We're going to taunt. We're going to AoE to get rid of the dodge food if they've got it. Um, and even then it doesn't do too much damage. And then we're going to, yeah. Uh, infect so we get the bleed popping off and then hopefully we get another so now our HP related stats is at 21% increased which is nice uh, I have a counter up and then I also have another infect and thingy so we'll hopefully see her pop off again here 
Against a counter thingy is not great, but... That's bugger all damage. She doesn't have the stacks, right? Oh, she does. Okay. So let's see how much damage we can do. So I kind of want to do... Um, can't really leave Tear alive is the problem. So... You know what? We're just going to throw up the counter. Stuff it. I have too much faith this maybe kills. Ooh. Close. This is going to hurt though, I think. See, that was nothing because we had no crits. So I'm very... And Tears on 1 HP. So Tears is about to kill my entire team. Okay. So that didn't work because of the Death Brand as well. That's a... See? I probably would have trusted Tear to kill there. You know what I mean? Like, that probably would have killed. So... I'm not really sure... I really wanted it to be better than this. I don't know, like, I really just wanted to have a really good AoE infect unit. This is the first time, like, I've kind of been trying her without... Like, without kind of focusing on L using Albedo to tank. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do a last ditch effort. It's not really any other unknowns you want. Like, I suppose I could put in... Let's put in Freya, maybe, to boost the basic stats. Even more. But then that's taking away hell, right? Like... I know this has been a wild rambling from me. But, like, you know what? Let's just try and absolutely stack the deck. I'm going to absolutely stack the deck. I'm going to have basic stat after basic stat after basic stat. Try and give this girl something to survive, but this is this is not going to work, though, is it? Let's let's see, let's see. Okay, you know what? Let's do, let's do that. Um, yeah, I'm curious. This is not going to work well, but I just want to see how many basic stats we can get up to, and if we can survive long enough. Proximum Rage. We'll just try this once, and then we'll try. Then we'll probably swap back, and then maybe I'll swap out Ram for like a taunt. So I'll probably put maybe Albedo in. So maybe Albedo, Freya, and then thingy but just can't really replace hell or albedo right okay halloween team getting very used to getting out cc'd and now she's uh charmed yeah, i don't i don't see i don't see her replacing she's definitely usable and does her job but i just i don't see her replacing any of the other big hitters right she's designed to be a big hitter and I can't see her doing that. And there's my infect disabled. Ouchies. So let's do... Who should we stun here? Who should we stun? Who's got the gold card? That's going to be hell. And then let's try and kill her. I'm hoping. Yeah, perfect. So that's decent. Let's do the source of pain. Yeah, there's just not quite a team that I love with her. Like Freya's probably good in the team because she stance cancels. Because he stance cancels, sorry, excuse me. Right? Um, which is probably quite nice. So now we've got the HP related stat increase. There goes my basic stats though. And my single target increase, which would have been nice. I was, I was waiting for that to kill as well. All right, we're just going to go all in. We're going to be charmed here. But I think... Ooh. Yeah, let's get this off. So, I've still got uh, Rem as well. So, 51k. So, not as much as before. So, I'm going to do that. I mean, that's going to go straight on Freya anyway, right? But... Wow, that was actually pretty good. I did not expect that to do as well as it did. 442 on a charmed unit, and I healed everyone, right, because of her... See, it's, it's like, it's just like small little pockets of her popping off. That's just really nice, and it makes me think there's something there. But like, again, this isn't exactly a, you know... This is going to be the most scuffed video of all time, I'm sorry fam. Um, it's not exactly... I just took away my ult, that's very annoying. Uh, and my thingy. It's very annoying. There's just not enough there to be... Like, that's a lot of damage from this Merlin. You know? Like, it doesn't really... 
we'll do that. Oh, I forward. All right. I don't know. Okay. What we gonna, I, I think we're on to something with the stats. So what I think I might do is we will. Hey, what? Well, let's do just old school. This is what I used to run. Except rather than Sheltier, I used to run. Um, it was Ragnarok Dien, right? So let's let's try this. Where the tier should hopefully keep the pressure off of Shaltier. I got the basic stats from Freya, but it was less than was less than before, right? I can't think if Hell gives or Albedo gives basic stats to the squad or not. Sorry, fam, I'm so out of it. Like trying to Oh, human team hurts. That Roxy Holy Relic is potentially gonna one shot my my uh my tier here. We'll see. Yeah, that, uh, that cough of, is not going anywhere. Let's see, is it going to Roxy attack? So glad I pulled Tear out for that. That was so worth it. Okay. It's the thing, it's going to take more than because of the dodge food, right? Effect. And I guess I'm going to try and kill Roxy because I feel like Roxy's going to, like with the red, it's going to absolutely melt me. That's going to hurt a lot. Okay, I have ult, but yeah, I'm going to get barn comboed out now, right? The, the damage on the human team is just insanely high. Without any sort of defenses against it, I just get one shot, basically. So I have, I have the basic stats. Yeah, it's a level two. Is it going to just one shot me? Yeah, there you go, there you go. Oh. Oh, I was really hoping he'd like expect that to kill. All right, so this is the thing. She's just done a few matches now, fam, and she's just not as consistent as she needs to be. Right? She just really is uh not doing what she needs to do. Um, let's get old again. It's... We can kill. So that we're, we're kind of proving that this she's just a bit squishy attack crit and she's she's good in specific circumstances i guess but not when you need her not when it counts right not when she needs to tank something or she needs to do enough damage yeah it's interesting because there was a point where my unknown team was pretty much unbeatable right now it's humans now it's unknown now it's collab there's a few different things up there so that's interesting. I think that's enough. I'll uh, go back and edit all the coughs and stuff. Apologies, fam. Appreciate you guys hanging out and, and just chilling with me while I butcher this showcase or while I don't use the right people or whatever it is. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will, I'm will. i back now. We have more videos, I promise. Uh, even if I have to cough through a lot of them. Uh, we'll see how we go. So thanks for watching. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.